Oh, oh. I got a somewhat aged beer here. It's Consecration from Russian River. So I got this in California a long time ago. Um, about two years ago or three years ago. Um, so this one is a little over three years old itself. It was bottled on um, January 16th of 2016. I had that when it was exactly the same batch when it was exactly a year old and it wasn't very sour. It was pretty good, but very kind of sweet and big Belgian sort of strong dark ale like. Um, so this is 10% alcohol aged in the Cabernet barrels with currants added. And yes, there's a whole really complicated process that Russian River has with when they add the lactobacillus and when they add the bretonomyces and all this stuff. So this stuff. So this beer, um, yeah, I guess when it's young, it's not that sour. One of my friends were saying, ooh, you should drink that. And I've heard that this might not be aging well. I don't know, whatever, let's just drink it. And it just hasn't been in perfect cellar temperature the whole time, but you'd think that having substantial Brettanomyces presence in there would keep it um, from getting oxidized, but we shall see. Definitely not super duper carbonated. Well, there's some good carb, but not a gusher at all. And 10% is pretty big. I feel like this is one of the first really strong barrel-aged sour beers made in America. Oh, now, of course, there are more. Hmm, so that had died down real quickly. Looks like, you know, aged sour beer. But a good amount of carbonation in there. Hmm. It's hard to tell if it's oxidation. Maybe a little bit, but it's kind of funky. It's oaky. Doesn't smell very sour still, actually. I definitely get cherry currant type stuff happening. And yeah, maybe just a hint of horse blankety, but it's a, it smells a little bit apple-y, cherry, pear-y. Interesting. I guess this isn't really my favorite style. Um, I tend to not want the gigantic sour beers. It doesn't smell boozy though, it doesn't smell really scary. Ooh. Mm, something, something funky in there. It's got this quality of a, it's not exactly cheesy, just like really, really woody tasting. I'm surprised how tannic it is even after being in the bottle for so long. Mm. Not a huge body. It drinks like um, some old world red wines that are a little, that are rustic, I guess you'd say. Um, no booze, pretty easy to drink. Probably needs to warm up this straight out of the fridge. Oh wow. I guess originally this is a blend of five different beers. Tobacco character. I guess it's got some of that. Especially the, the, the woodiness combined with some sweet fruits. It's actually really plummy. That's probably one of the biggest flavors. Ooh, now I'm noticing a little burn in my throat. As you can tell, it's not puckering. Maybe there'll be a slow vinegary quality that kind of creeps up on you. But it's very low and like a upfront puckering. It's not very lactic acidy at all. This is um, a very, very winey beer. It's probably one of the most wine-like beers I've had that doesn't actually have um, wine, juice, or grapes used in the process. It's pretty good. Um, Seems like it hasn't aged badly or anything. But I'm, I'm kind of glad I had it now before anything bad would happen to it. I wish it were a little more bready, a little funkier, had some more of that, you know, funky tropical fruit bread 
you know, it's the, that I get. It's not really barnyard in your face or anything. This might actually be a really good way to introduce a, a red wine drinker or, um, what was I going to say? As someone who likes, not sour beers, but like Belgian beers, I guess that's it. Like someone who likes wine, red wine, or they like Abbey Ales, Quads, Belgian Strong Darks. This might be a good way to get them into some barrel-aged wild American beers. I mean, this is really real, mate. There's like nothing wrong with it. And it's pretty unique, honestly. It has kind of this Coca-Cola Amaretto smell to it. Yeah, it's really, it's pretty complex. Like kind of almondy and nutty. Yeah, if you give this to me, I, I might think it's a Greek. I guess it doesn't, it doesn't have that bright, bright red color you get from, from cherries as much, but it's a really good beer. It deserves, yeah, four, four point two five. I'm fine with um, not drinking something like this very often, but it's definitely very, very well made. Bye.